Yes, we all love to hate them. The junkiest of the junk, and sometimes they're a good ones. We love them so much that I made an official intro for them. We have to start out with the usual. This is the iPhone SE that we listen to all the junk phones with. Yes, he's back and ready to listen to junk phone garbage. Next, we need a control pair of headphones. It's typically these, the Apple Earpods. These are some of the most well-rounded pair of headphones I have. They have a little bit of bass, and they sound pretty good. Now we need to plug these boys into the AC, of course. And I'll be back after a quick listen. So yeah, they sound pretty good compared to the original track. And, mostly, the other buds are gonna be worse or better. These boys have pretty good, even sounding audio. The bass doesn't drown out the synths either. They also fit in my ears, which is something the rubber tip buds don't do as often. Now we just have to unplug these boys from the AC. Usually, we do a control test on the crappy first generation Apple earbuds to establish a very low earbud. These boys are very destroyed and the music through these is unbearable. Whatever, let's plug these junk phones into the AC. I'll be back after listening to them. And that just explains their low tierness. These boys decided that they weren't gonna work today. Well, time to destroy them. Go, trusty scissor boys. Oh, how I always hated you. Feel the wrath of the scissor boys. Wow, this wire is hard to cut through. You can stay up there with all the other corpses. Now all that's left is the garbage wire. Time to cut the rest of it up. First up, we have some skull candies. I believe these are skull candy inkers. And boy do they look ugly. They probably won't fit in my ears because of how thick they are. This button sounds like bubble wrap. Or feels like it. Ooh, it has a gold jack. Hope it's good. Now let's plug these ugly boys into the AC. I'll be back after a quick listen. Thank you. 
honest, these weren't that bad. I mean, yeah, they did have base that blocked out a lot of the sins. And they fit in the ears like absolute garbage. They also are very plasticky, these things weigh nothing. I kinda like a lot of bass, not gonna lie. Also the shape of all the plastic pieces is very strange looking. So yeah, buy these if you like music destroying bass. Next, we have some Sony TRH-1 headphones. Incredible name ideas from Sony, totally not looking at a keyboard and picking random letters, symbols and numbers. They have the swiveling iPhone parts, which is good. And they have this adjustable metal band, so it fits on your head. These things have some weight to them too. Let's plug these boys into the AC. I'll be back after a quick listen. sound really good. They almost sound exactly like the original track. And they actually fit on my head and are comfortable. These boys are a bit quiet though, but you can turn them up. This cord feels really bad though, it's almost sticky. It has your basic headphone jack, sadly not gold plated. I really love this metal band. Overall, these are pretty good headphones. Next up, we have some low tier ones. These boys are made entirely out of cheap plastic. They have a crappier expandable headband. They can swivel, but it's very cheap feeling. Surprisingly, these boys have some sort of leather pads, although they are probably fake. There is like zero cushion though. This cord is also very cheap. I have a lot of these pairs, and they all look the same. They have these ugly holes on the back for some reason. Whatever, let's plug this junk into the AC. Wait, does it not fit in here? It's probably cause I have a case on, isn't it? Well, if you will excuse me, I need to get a phone without a case. This beat up iPhone 4 is will work. Get out of here AC. Now let's plug these boys in. I'll be back after trying to listen.
toys are garbage. They crackle to the music. These adjustable headbands don't even work, they just fall down half the time. They are also not very comfortable against the ear. I mean, there is like zero cushion as I already said. And the swiveling is kinder a gimmick, it only goes from side to side. So yeah, don't get these. Next up, we have a strange pair. Is that Mountain Dew's slogan? Yes, even Mountain Dew tried to make some buds. Although they focused more on this small radio thing. We even have a man well. That we will not be needing. Today we will be focusing on the junk bone portion. These already feel cheap. No rubber tips, probably still fit in the ears like crap though. No, don't get tangled on me. This cord is absolute crap. And you can just take them apart. It's funny how they do the red and blue, like it's the colors on faucet handles or something. They sound really hollow as well, is there anything in there? This Mountain Dew thing is pretty funny though. It feels like Mountain Dew puts their name on a lot of stuff that's not Mountain Dew. Whatever, let's plug the bad boys into the AC. I'll be back after a quick listen. Ha! Ha 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 ha! These boys don't even work. Shame Mountain Dew. Shame. These butts hardly fit in the ears as well. The jack is a basic jack, not gold plated which explains why it failed. Just kidding. It sounds like there's something shaking around inside here. I wonder if I can get in here with just force. No, the boys are pretty strong. It's pretty sad that they didn't work, cause I wanted something to laugh at. I'm not gonna destroy them though, or destroying buds is going to get boring. Up next, we have some top tier boys. Look at this, it's entirely made out of solid metal. This jack is metal. The bud boys are also metal. They are very heavy for ear buds. They even sound good. The little separator thing is metal too. This cord is not braided though, it's just rubber that looks like it's braided. Let's plug these beautiful boys into the AC. I'll be back after a quick listen. are very good. 
They have a decent amount of base, and it doesn't seem to cut into the synths that much. These also surprisingly fit in my ears very well. It must be because they are sort of round. I wonder if being metal makes them sound better. I would use these all the time, they are probably better than the earpods. Yeah, solid metal. These are very heavy, I wonder what they are made of. And they are probably very expensive, even though they seem to be an off-brand. They look pretty good. This cord is also nice, although not braided. They feel like they are made out of aluminum, like the AC. So yeah, buy these if you like expensive buds. Come on, out of the AC you go. Last, but probably least, we have these super low tier buds. Look at how bad these things look. I feel like I can take them apart. Never mind. They still look ugly, and I keep hitting the camera. Your basic headphone jack, not gold plated though. This cord is made out of nothing as well. Let's plug these boys into the AC. Of course one of the buds is longer than the other, I hate when brands do this. Whatever, I'll be back after a quick listen. That shows you how low tier these boys are. They don't even work. These boys do fit in the ear like crap though. The rubber bits are falling apart as we speak. And they just look plain ugly. I can't wait to destroy these. This little slider thing is pretty pointless. It just falls down every time you use it. Anyways, it's time for the rating. In first place, we have the Sony TRH-1 headphones. They have the nice swiveling headphone piece. And they have the cool looking metal headband. It's pretty nice. Cord is almost sticky feeling. There's the name right there. The headphone jack is basic. It goes out to the side which is pretty common. So yeah, people should get these, cause they sound good. In second place, we have the Metal Bug Boys. These boys blew me away with their sound quality. Although they're generally very loud. Everything on this boy is metal, which makes it feel expensive. The cord is nice too, although not actually braided. So yeah, the sound quality on these boys is pretty good. The bass doesn't interrupt the synths, and it doesn't crackle. I would wear these and use them every day. The jack is gold plated, so it's good, right? Even this little splitter bit is metal. So yeah, these boys are pretty nice. In third place, 
we have the skull candy ink death looks on these boys aren't the best but they do have a ton of base too much actually these things are also way too thick to fit in my ears comfortably I'm also not a fan of the plastic they're using This button sounds really cheap, almost like bubble wrap. Cord comes in the stupid flat shape that makes any cord look bad. Overall, strange design choices made on this boy. I'm also not a fan of the Skull Candy logo, I just never liked it for some reason. So yeah, these boys are super basic. In fourth place we have these failures. They have one cord going to one of the headphones, that's inefficient. So yeah, these boys are very crackly. This jack is average, it's not gold plated. The swiveling headphone part doesn't work that good. Leather pads don't provide any comfort, probably just for looks. Adjustable headband is cheaply made also. So yeah, there are pretty much no good things about this boy. Them sucking could be a good thing though. These actually work, that's a good thing. So yeah, don't buy these. In fifth place, we have the Mountain Dew Trash Buds. These boys didn't even work when I plugged them in. I'm not gonna destroy these, because I want to keep them on my shelf where all the failures go. The headphone jack is pretty basic, it's not gold plated. Cord is made out of garbage. These are not comfortable to wear, I'll tell you that. And yeah, you can just pretty much take these apart. This Mountain Dew radio thing it came with is pretty cool though. I would get this instead of the actual buds. And finally, in last place we have these ugly boys. These boys didn't work either. They fit horrible in the ears, and the rubber parts are falling off. Jack also isn't gold plated, big disappointment. Cord is made out of garbage like the last one. Slider for no reason. So yeah, these boys are pretty crap. They are already tearing at the seams. Well, you know what we have to do. We have to make them suffer. Give me these buds, thank you. And this mountain do you think I'll put up here as well? I don't think you can see it. There. Great work scissor boys. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Remember that Mountain Dew sucks at making your buds. And if you want to see more junk phone videos leave a comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.